The provisional agreement between Beijing and the Holy See allowing the Vatican to appoint bishops in the country is expected to be renewed this month. The two countries do not share diplomatic relations. Instead, the Holy See maintains full diplomatic relations with Taiwan, a relationship that celebrated its 80th anniversary this year in Rome. Taiwan's ambassador to the Holy See says that the Vatican's agreement with China is important for the country's Catholics. There's an important uh, purpose for Holy See to have an agreement with uh, uh, the Communist China, PRC, not only for the appointment of bishop, but also like uh, Cardinal Perlin say, uh, Holy See hope uh, they can make uh, the Catholic men in China, they can live in a normal, faithful life. In an interview with Reuters in July, Pope Francis expressed his hope that the agreement with China would be renewed, though he noted that dialogue between the two countries is developing slowly during his return flight from Kazakhstan. Non è facile capire la mentalità cinese, ma va rispettata. Io rispetto sempre. E qui in Vaticano c'è una commissione del dialogo che sta andando bene, ma è una cosa lenta, ma sempre si danno passi avanti. The Holy See always support uh, religious freedom. And uh, I think you may uh, notice uh, Holy Father's words about communist China has been changed a little bit. And uh, last September, he said China is not easy. During the Pope's trip to Kazakhstan, the Vatican's Secretary of State, Cardinal Pietro Padolin, said that the Holy See's current situation will remain as is when asked if it were willing to close its embassy in Taipei to establish diplomatic relations with China. Good news from Rome Reports. This month, we reached 300,000 subscribers on our English YouTube channel. Thank you so much. If you are still not subscribed, you can do so by hitting the red button below.